Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me today. So in this video I want to share um, my um, books and pages that I'm planning to colour in June. Now I'm going to be quite busy with some exam marking um, but yeah I mean I have chosen a lot because you know I just can't stop choosing pages. Um, so this will be like my um, selection that I'm hoping to you know just when I want to colour I'll just I'll just look at this selection and then choose from from there so um, let's see how many I get done by the end of June anyway I'm hoping to get a reasonable amount done so let's start Kitty says hello and yeah do let me know what you are planning to colour as well in June I'm always interested to hear so the first book is a whip that I started um, in A Million Sweet Things. Um, I really do enjoy Lulu Mayo's book and I haven't managed to colour in it for a couple of months um, in any of her books. So I've got I've got one pre-ordered which is the Cute Little Monsters which I can't actually wait until that arrives because I will be colouring in that. But this is the one that I've started. So this is my whip. Um, I've used... Um, Arteza's because I think Arteza Expert worked really well on this paper um, and then these are some of my Holbein pastel pencils as in pastel shade pencils um, and also the Castle Art ones which I don't like that much on how they work on this paper so I think I'm going to use my Brute Funa Macaron pencils uh, pastel ones because I think they'll work better I have used some Posca pencil this brown chocolate ice cream that you can see um, they work really nice on, on quite a lot of papers so yeah that's basically what I've done um, I am planning on using mainly pastel shades for the actual ice creams and things and then I think I'm going to go over with some either acrylic or watercolour glitter paint over the ice cream parts, some of the ice cream parts, just to give it a little bit of a glittery, shiny look. Um, and then I'll probably use some sort of glaze, like, you know, glossy accents or the decor art version of that um, on the strawberries just to make it look glossy. And, yeah, I mean, the background I'm thinking of doing... I hope you're interested in this because I do always wonder if I am um, talking about a picture far too much but I know some people like it and others don't so I'm, I'm just trying to do my best. Um, yeah, the background, I'm thinking of doing dark colours, um, probably dark blue with maybe some pops of pink in places. I'm thinking that, I'm not sure yet. Or maybe even turquoise in places but mainly black sorry not black mainly dark blue um, so it looks a little bit like a sky but not like a complete um, you know what's the word you know like a starry sky type thing but yeah I'm thinking dark blue with a little bit of pops of turquoise maybe even pink using say pan pastel or yeah any type of pastel really and then maybe go over it with a some form of glitter but I'm not 100% sure. I could even use gel crayons actually because it shouldn't be too difficult to do that but we'll see. Anyway that's that. So that's that one. A Million Sweet Things by Lulu Mayo and then I've started another whip in this brand new book from Amazon Japan. I think it's something like um, Fairy Tale Adventures but yes I I was it took me ages to pick a page I think that that's what takes me forever it takes me like forever to choose a page as well so anyway this is the one I started I just really love the look it's like trees in the background washing line with these cute little clothes cute little characters and I have to say these books the paper in them is so nice to work on you know using pencil just just so enjoyable and the pencils I really like using in here are my Derwent Lightfast, the Luminance and the Polychromos. The, them three I have to say are actually my favourite pencils. I think they're just stunning pencils. 
but anyway I like how I, I based this cat on um, the front cover and um, yeah I'm really enjoying this I did use watercolour Albert Jura watercolour pencils on the ground here um, which I think looks okay not quite sure what I'm going to do for the sky possibly I'm, I'm not too sure if I'm going to use watercolour for the sky I think it might end up being pan pastel again or some sort of pastel background um, it does take water reasonably well this paper you can see it's pretty much not even buckled where I used the Albert Joe watercolour pencils but um, I'm just thinking I don't I don't want it to be you know because this is a bigger area so I'm just thinking I'm not sure 100% anyway but that is my second width from this new book and then we have of course I've picked another Japanese book because like I say I really enjoy working in these books so this one is the bunny book in the same series and I'm just not too sure what I'm going to do now there there are a couple that have called out to me a little bit so I'll tell you which ones they are it's this one which is like I don't know um I hope, you can, I hope it's not too bright Just turn it down a touch and then bring you a little, little bit closer so it's like all this astrology stuff in this room here and astronomy stuff you know it looks quite the stars and things so this one looks really nice to me I really like that but then I also thought where are we the this one here this double page I mean it's not quite a double page because you've got a little bit of intro here but I quite like this as well and again the paper is so nice to work on it's really beautiful to work on so those two are the ones that I'm thinking anyway so we'll see hopefully do get to that one then I have a buddy colour set up with the lovely Zoe from Addicted to Colouring and the one that we are going to do is this one so this is the Blossom Trees page with the Shibu dog I think similar to a Japanese Akita I know you guys told me what it was um, but yeah um, this is the one that we're going to do and it's a nice little picnic you've got a little bird there as well um, and the beautiful blossom trees in the background and the Japanese house I mean it's what's not to like it's just gorgeous so yeah that's one that I'm hoping to do in Rita Berman's I always try to do one Rita Berman page at least because you know the gorgeous books so yeah that's that one and then I have a few PDFs which I will show you. So there's this one here and it's called the Mall House. I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop, but actually it's Julia Spiri. I think it's Julia Spiri. Um, I, I love her style. So yeah, I mean, it's just so homely. I'm a homely sort of a person. Uh, really like, like, you know, I'm just a homely sort of person, I guess. And I just love the bookshelf there. The, just everything about it. I mean, there is a little spider there in the attic, which is a little bit stressful if it was my house. But anyway, um, we'll ignore that and move past it. A little kitchen there. It's just so cute. So, yeah. Uh, Mole house. Sitting in his armchair there. I, I really hope I get to this one. And then I have this other Julius Spree one. And this is a craft room got a little sewing machine there you've got some arty paint stuff yeah oh look it says Copic 72 I didn't notice that before too expensive for me and I don't use alcohol markers enough to actually justify myself buying them one day I might I might try out a small set if you if you um, can recommend what set to get as a beginner Copic because I know there's all these different types Copic Chow and these other different versions and I don't know nothing about them really so if you get any recommendations I really appreciate it um, but yeah this little craft, uh, craft room just looks lovely cute so yeah that's another one and then my last PDF is of course one from Raider Prince so this is a nice little kitchen I just imagine doing these tiles at the back in 
blue, either blue and white um, or blue and cream, something like that. But yeah, I think that's a microwave. But yeah, I quite like how that looks as well. So yeah, those are my PDFs that I've printed out. Um, and then I have to work in this book. Another Japanese book is just... It's just a stunning book and I am going to get another copy, definitely going to get another copy of this because I can imagine myself uh, colouring in this again. Now I wasn't, as in doing the page, same page twice, now I quite like this one. The reason I like this one is because it's got these lovely flowers and leaves and the picture isn't massively detailed and I like this sort of bricks at the back as well so I quite like that one. Um, and then there's this geode, like a looks like a geode to me. And then this, I mean, that if I did that properly, I don't know if I'm capable of doing it amazingly, but if I did it and did it justice, it would look stunning. But there's the um, their version, and I think that's beautiful how they've done it. I could base mine on that, which does make it easier to sort of use it as a as a reference. But yeah, that I mean that's another one that sticks out to me as one that I want to do. I mean I, I definitely want to colour this one again. It's a lab at the end of the day, so you know right up my street that. Um so those and then this one as well actually, this clock one I quite like. I think this is a, a beautiful one. I just find it quite difficult when it's this way up to colour, but I'm sure I'll get around it. Um, there's this one which is rather more detailed. I am trying to go for a less detailed version. I do quite like this under underwater one as well. I like them all. So, yeah, there's that one. I call this Townscapes, by the way. So I did get this from Amazon Japan, if you are interested. And then I did purchase The New Moonlight Mischief by RJ Hampson. This is a beautiful book. And I love the fact that he's got double pages, but this time there's black in some of the backgrounds, which I really like. Um, I think that's really good. I like it that it's a little bit different than rather than a just, a, just um, a direct copy. I quite like this something under the bed. That, that was probably me when I was younger, I was just frightened of quite a lot of things. Not that it's changed much these days, but yeah, I like this one as well. Um, this one I really like as well. In fact, I like pretty much all of them. It's just that I'm thinking the one that stands out, the ones that stand out quite a lot to me is this one. I know Dan from Colour With Dan has started this. It's a beautiful picture. Um, just a stunning picture um, but I was thinking of doing either this sleeping tree one which I quite like and this one this one really stands out to me I love the way the dragons curved around this castle that's just to me that is an absolutely stunning picture a stunning image I love it so there's that one really stands out to me and that one, the under the bed one and which other one was it? This one. So I'm not sure but everyone wants a bit of RJ in their life I think. And then this lovely book was sent to me by Karen Myers, um, The Mystical Land Chronicles book one secrets of the crystal sea so there is a flip of this on my channel and she did send me the digital version so the one I'm thinking of colouring is this now it did come out as two little mini pages on my printer because I print from my iPad and I actually didn't <coughs> excuse me I didn't mind that it came out like that I actually quite like it so I think it's these two pages is this one and this one now, I haven't decided because I'm very undecided like that. I haven't decided whether I'm going to colour in the book. I mean, obviously, it's Amazon printed paper, so it's not my favourite. But if I feel like not doing the Amazon printed paper, I do feel like doing this one. I like both pictures uh, equally. I think it, they're both really cute. So I just think the two pictures will give me a little 
more variety so I might end up doing this one um, but we'll see I'm hoping to do um, either in the book or the PDF printout and then next Animaux de Bois Paula Brune I mean excuse the terrible translation there but this is I mean I have to say I I think that this is this is my favorite one compared to the Amazon I do like the Amazon one don't get me wrong but I definitely think this is the one I like better I don't really mind the things coming out of the animals I mean it's not ideal but I can live with it and I just don't know but I do I feel like I'm gonna just go and do the page that I want to do whether it's a double or a single I'm gonna just go ahead and do it and if I don't finish it, it doesn't matter I can carry on the next month and complete it so this book is just so stunning so so stunning I really 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 like it a lot the double pages are awesome I mean I did think about this page with the two birds um, as one that I could do as a single but yeah I am hoping I could get to that but you're thinking when is she gonna color she's got all this marking to do when is she actually gonna color <laughs> well what I do is I mark for most of the day if I'm not at work and and then when I come if I come home from work I will do some marking as well and then if I am not if I am off the next day as in not at work then what I'll do is I'll start coloring for much less time now one hour or two hours at the most if I can in the late evening so we have Enchanted Earth uh, by Mel Pamini Chatsipani go to and yeah I I do really love the pictures I do I don't I don't know what it is but I'm not as attracted to this book as I was to Circle of Life I'm not sure if that's because there's a lot more or is it just me imagining it there's a lot more smallest I mean I like detail but there's a lot of black going over everything and that intensity of black sort of does I don't know it just doesn't put me off but I don't know I'm not as I mean this is a beautiful picture that, that's just stunning I mean they, they all are to be fair but yeah I, I, I really don't know what it is I, I don't know what it is why I'm not as attracted to this book as much as her others I mean I've got two copies of this because I actually love her work because if I if I didn't love her work I wouldn't but yeah hoping to do one in here Enchanted Earth so that's that one and then I did purchase this Tiny Worlds uh, quite a while ago now I think a month ago if not more by Matt Edwards and I'm hoping to do one in here now this book reminds me of um, Mythographic because I don't know it's just similar in style I think um, I haven't chosen one from here they are quite detailed again but they're very um, interesting I do I do really like the images that there's I mean I did see this one I quite like that one the little owl sitting in a little book nook there um, I find that really cute so that could be one that I try but I do want to start this book because I haven't coloured anything in it yet so that's Tiny Worlds I'm nearly at the end well there's a few still but nearly and then this is another Japanese book that I got from Amazon Japan A Journey to Wonderland now I might not get to this I just put it in the pile because well it's one of the new books that I do want to start now the reason why I did put it in the pile actually thinking back is because there's a lot of flower flowers and you know sort of lots of little floral leaves and stuff like that so that's just perfect for summer so that's why I picked it and I like that some pages have this sort of background already shaded in a particular colour definitely will be doing a double page not in this book I mean this quite nice I mean it looks simple but 
still probably take me quite a long time so that's that one it's called wonder or journey to wonderland and then there's the final japanese book that i got very recently and I haven't shown it in a haul yet but anyway um this is a what's it called flowers of the world coloring book and it's by funo yanagawa and so there's it's basically different places like that one was cuba we've got just different places vietnam taiwan indonesia and i mean the paper's not great it's okay it's not bad um but i wouldn't use watercolor pencil in here or maybe I'm, i should just try it in a place because It'd be nice to use watercolour pencil, but I don't think the paper would like to take it very well. I quite like this England one with the little creatures and having a little tea party, it seems, under the tree. So we'll see if I get to it. If I don't get to it this month, then hopefully the following month. And then I was sent this uh, book, Happy Trails Colouring Book, uh, as well. And I'm hoping, if I haven't already released a flip of this, there will be a flip on my channel. Now, this is a... Um, Apparently it's a manuscript copy, so that's why the, not a manuscript, a draft copy, draft copy. Um, so it's not particularly great paper-wise, but she did send me the digital copy, which is really nice uh, of her. And um, I printed this one out, and I'm not sure why, why it's not fully black. Maybe my ink's running out, I think that might be the case. But... I still like it. I still like the background. I like that it goes from dark, lighter. So I might um, use my gel pens, my watercolour pencils, things like that on, on here rather than working in the actual book itself. So that's the Trippy Trails colouring book. And then lastly, one of these mytho graphic books, either Aviary or Magical Earth. I think Magical Earth is my favourite of Joseph Kattenbang's books but the aviary one is absolutely stunning it's just so so lovely not chose a page I didn't do a mythographic in um, May so really hoping I can get to one uh, in June because I mean they're just gorgeous I quite like the owl one as well but I'm not sure, not 100% sure what I will go for, but yeah, there's the aviary one, and then the magical earth, we've got a few in here that I quite like, a few actually, quite a lot that I like, but I'm not sure which one I will do, quite like this one, like I say, choosing it's so difficult for me now, I'm so like, it takes me forever and it really shouldn't, I should just get on with it. I mean I quite like this one, I have been wanting to do this, actually I might do this one because I haven't picked a B page for this month. So that's it, that's all my um, selections I'll say for the month of June. So. I hope you enjoyed watching. Do let me know what you are planning to colour as well in June. So until next time guys, take care. Happy colouring. Bye.